Hi Taurus, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of April, as always, I'm offering uh, a special. This time is focused on the themes of rebirth and change. So if you would like to know more info about the specials I'm offering, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Taurus, it feels like this month of April is really focused and concerning in, and concerned, you know, with practical affairs. It's like there's this energy about you really needing to hustle and, and, and work hard to rebuild some sort of structure. Some of you, this is an actual home. This is an actual physical, um, you know, energy that you're needing to rebuild. Some of you are uh, rebuilding homes or working on your home, fixing something in the home. Uh, others of you, this is about fixing the structures of your life and how you feel that that life is guaranteeing you or granting you some type of sust sustainable energy, some type of um, you know foundation that you can rely on, that you can trust on. I feel like some of you have been through something here where you have felt this, it's like this earthquake energy where you have felt like something, um, you know, disrupted your sense of safety or security or stability. And you were trying to redo this. You're trying to fix whatever damage this metaphor of the earthquake is about because your past influence is the tower. So what's still influencing you going into the month of April, it's an energy of change, of disruption, of revelation, of something being shaken up, of, a, of a, um, some sorts of separation or, or argument. There's just this energy of something being kind of um, split into two. And what I feel like Taurus are trying to do during the month of April is to take those uh, splitting, uh, you know, pieces of whatever this is, and instead of kind of choosing something, I feel like you're 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 working on bringing them back together. So some of you are fixing and um, you know wanting to um, sew in back together you know, issues, problems in your life. Some of you, this is about relationships. Some of you, this is about finances. Some of you, this is about work. Others of you, I feel it could be about home, family, or, you know, something of your plans that didn't go as you expected. I feel like some of you have a challenge here during the month of April in feeling, you know, feeling as as sure as um, you would like to feel about what you're doing. I feel like some of you are putting in, in, in perspective or in question your careers or your home life and family life. Some of you are kind of urging, craving, you know, to be called to a different mission or a different path or a different experience from uh, the ones you have been having so far. Some of you, you ha your, your, your presence in the material world and, your pre and how you really feel inside, so your emotional and spiritual selves, are not in alignment, at least in the month of April. There's something here that could be a product of the tower effect, of course. There's something about your persona, what you are expressing outwards, that may not really be about how the majority of you truly, truly are feeling in the month of April because you do have the King of Cups here in Judgment. So there's something, you know, going on inside of you for some of you that it's deep, that it's emotional, that it's silent, withdrawn into this very mysterious, um, you know, kind of environment. I feel like some of you are really 
keeping yourselves quiet or secretive about something. Some of you are afraid to expose uh, a certain truth. I, I'm not sure if this is a uh, truth that you're holding on to because you're afraid of consequences or if this is just something you know that you still don't know if you should reveal or not. There's a little bit of this, as I said, withdrawn, introspective a vibe about Taurus during the month of April, especially to the later part. The first part of the month, I feel like you're really focused on working uh, on something, on being in, present in the moment, you know, in practical affairs, in, in budgeting, in fixing, in handling the day-to-day -day life. It could be a very busy beginning of the month for Taurus. The later part of the month, this is where I feel like there's this emotional, secretive element in about you that may... <clears throat> that may be taking you down and um you know into a very into your into hiding into hiding i feel like some of you are hiding or you know desiring let's say craving you know to hide it's really the energy of you know the invisible cloak the invisible coat um that shows up in the in movies of harry potter there's this invisible element that some of you are desiring or some of you are just, you know, make, keeping things on the dark, keeping things invisible, keeping things guarded from the eyes of the world. Some of you have secrets within you, things that are hard to confess or hard to open up about, even though during the, the month of April, you may feel the weight of those secrets or the weight of those silent, let's say, that silent dimension that's uh, where you live or where you escape to. You may feel the weight of it, of carrying it alone or as a secret. Um, you, you may feel the weight of it, um, you know, in a very strong way, in a way that maybe it's uncomfortable. And for some of you, making, uh, you know, the situation be hard to, it's like hard to control hard to control your emotions or hard to control your your desires of some sorts as i said i feel like some of you are living lives or trying to hold on to a lifestyle that maybe doesn't really have much to do with who you are and some of you are in this quest to understand who you are some of you are in this journey that's coming up here as uh, april unfolds a journey about figuring out, um, you know, your life in a different in a different way. Um, some of you, this is connected with finances, work, work, career, aims. But others of you, it's about family. I keep going back to family or home. Let's say the, the aspect of home. Maybe some of you want to, you know, be involved. Uh, with a different community, with a different vibe, environment. Maybe you want to relocate, change cities, change the physical home. Maybe you don't like the home where you are. Um, maybe you want to be apart from family or closer to family. It really depends, of course, in your personal situation. But there is an element here of some of you not feeling settled, not feeling grounded as you would like to feel with either what you are currently doing um, in terms of work or where you live or, or how your family dynamics are going on or I feel like some of you are planning ahead secret secret secretively to change something so some of you may the secrets are just this guarded energy maybe about you having a secret plan towards change you planning something in secret for the betterment of your life or to change something about how your life is and have been that it's going to significantly impact those that are around you, those that are involved in your life, especially for Taurus, of course, they have a family, they have a partner. There's something here that some of you may be hiding because maybe you're still trying to decide on the best approach of whatever this is and you are aware that 
there's consequences, there's effects that will come to those closer to you once you make certain decisions that you're being called to make. Some of you, though, you need to open up about your stress, your frustrations. For Taurus that are kind of stressed with money and finances, you know, talking it, talking it out, um, expressing your fears, your frustrations, your your um, insecurities with finances, with work, you know, maybe asking for assistance, asking for guidance, because this this King of Cups can be as well, of course, um, another person, a water person, a person with a strong water vibe, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. It could be someone that has a strong water signature in their chart or in their personality and who they are someone that it's a mystery themselves or someone that is just empathetic emotional and compassionate someone that can give you a helping hand in understanding something that maybe you're not understanding um some of you this king of cups as i said can be someone that either you are helping during the month of april or that you are being helped by um I feel like Taurus have this adoration with family or, you know, with how the structures of their lives have been so far. You have very, some of you have a fond, a very fond, um, you know, connection with the past, with your heritage, with your roots. But what I'm feeling is like some of you may be awakening that there's something about it that is just not for you. It's, there's something about it, something you're being expected to do or to continue that you don't want to do. I feel like some of you can have family or just pressure or people pressuring you to do things um, in ways you don't want to do or, or, or you, that you simply don't want to do. And some of you, you know, you kind of juggling i feel like you, you don't want to say no you don't want to say yes this is the soul position the two of pentacles so in, basically during the month of april you're very back and forth swinging between indecisions and you know maybe trying as i said to bring together you know the doubts um, until you figure out what to do or trying to work with um, what you want and with with what others want or expect from you and hoping that that can, um, you know, that can uh, be the solution for whatever this is. But I'm feeling like the majority of you, even so, even if you can, you know, bring things together and work with them, there's something you need to say, something you need to be honest and open about that you're not being. It could be just a state of um, feeling like, maybe feeling for some reason um, afraid or feeling uh, sick or feeling, you know, anxious. It's like expressing truthfully how you emotionally feel during the month of April about your life, about yourself, about whatever stress you're going through. I feel like it's very important to communicate openly to, because I feel like some of you, you have people that can really, you know, help you. You can, you can have people that can do a lot for you if you just say it, if you just talk it out. And I feel like this is exactly your challenge in the month of April. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.